हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी विसी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस रिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदे और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदे गोटे इंपोर्टे जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी एटी देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडवांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन बढ़ई पार प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताको ये ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट रु तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड कर पीडीएफ को लास्ट ये जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जा प्रति भिडज को यूनिट व्वज एज पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर पार ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक स्प्रे पायरोलीसीस विषय में पढ़ा व्हिच इज अ नॉन वैक्यूम टेक्निक सुइटेबल फॉर द डिपोजिशन ऑफ वाइड वैरायटी ऑफ बोथ थिन एंड थिक फिल्म्स ओके अलोंग विद दैट वी कैन हैव द सेरामिक कोटिंग्स एंड पाउडर्स एट्सेट्रा राइट नाउ इट बिलोंग्स टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ द बॉटम अप मेथड्स फॉर द सिंथेसाइजेशन ऑफ नानो स्ट्रक्चर मेटेरियल्स एंड दिस स्प्रे पायरोलीसीस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गैस फेज सिंथेसाइजेशन Now the films which are deposited in this technique were used in many devices like that of your solar cells then sensors then solid oxide fuel cells okay so for example as we spray the scent or perfume so in case of this spray pyrolysis a thin film is deposited by spraying a solution okay and this is done by forcing it through a hole or nozzle at high pressure on a heated surface right where the constituents react to form a chemical compound okay and this is shown in the figure okay this one let me minimize it so you can see here on the top we have the spray gun okay and we can regulate the pressure inside it by means of this pressure regulator now the compressed carrier gas is inserted from this side through the pressure regulator now inside the spray gun we have the pressure solution reservoir which is contained in the atomizer okay and here we have the spray nozzle so through this spray nozzle you can see here the solution is sprayed on the heated surface okay here we have the heater above which we have the heating plate and the heating is done by means of this power supply through the thermocouple okay above the heating blade we have the substrate on which the thin film is being deposited okay so this is the basic diagram of the spray pyrolysis now coming back here the substrate is heated about a temperature of 350 to 500 degree celsius and the precursors which are maybe in liquid or gaseous form in this process are vapors okay and the reactants are selected such that the products other than the desired compound that is your by products are volatile at the temperature of deposition that is at the substrate surface temperature right now from the definition point of view this spray pyrolysis is actually the aerosol process that atomizes a solution and thereby heats the droplets in order to produce the solid particles okay and here aerosol is defined as a suspension of solid or liquid particles in a gas and atomization is the production of these droplets and their dispersion into the gas now spray pyrolysis can take place in following three steps number 1 aerosol generation and transport number 2 droplet impact with consecutive spreading and number 3 precursor decomposition okay so this spray pyrolysis is particularly very useful for the deposition of oxides and has long been a production method for applying a transparent electrical conductor of snox that is a material of tin oxide to the glass surface okay so properties of the deposited thin films depends on the preparation conditions right now the most critical parameter which is involved in case of this spray pyrolysis is the substrate surface temperature which influences the film roughness cracking and crystallinity etc so by increasing the temperature the film morphology can change from a cracked one to a porous microstructure 
okay also the temperature affects the optical and electrical properties of the deposited films okay now let us see what are the various equipments required for this spray pyrolysis process so number one is the atomizer okay it is an instrument that carries out the atomization which means production of droplets and their dispersion into the gas so atomizer may be of three types number one is ar blast type then number two ultrasonic type and number three is the electrostatic type okay now the second one is the precursor solution so here chemicals which are used in the reaction are called your precursors then number three is the substrate heater so an arrangement is done for heating the substrate with a temperature range of about 350 to 500 degree celsius as you have seen here the substrate is heated by means of this heater and heating plate and connecting it with a power supply with a thermocouple okay so the next one is the temperature controller so arrangement for maintaining the temperature in the specified range we use a temperature controller okay now according to the type of reaction involved we can classify these chemical spray deposition processes into four categories number one is the process a where the droplet resides on the surface as the solvent evaporates and leaving behind a solid that may further react in a dry state okay number two is the process b where the solvent evaporates before the droplet reaches the surface and the dry solid imprints on the surface where the decomposition takes place right then number three is the process c where the solvent evaporates as the droplet approaches the substrate and the solid then melts and vaporizes and these vapor diffuses to the substrate okay so it is a heterogeneous reaction process which occurs at the substrate okay so number four is the process d where the whole reaction takes place in a vapor state okay now let us see what are the advantages of this spray pyrolysis method so first point it is a very simple method relatively cost effective and non vacuum processing method so it will be having a large area of applications okay then number two it is an extremely easy technique for preparing films of any composition okay on the next point this process involves continuous operation with high yield of the final product and it does not require high quality substrates or chemicals for its operation but however one of the major disadvantages of this spray pyrolysis is that it often results in aggregates and agglomerates rather than single ton primary particles so here single ton means single kind of things okay now finally let us see what are the various applications of this spray pyrolysis technique so number one in the deposition of dense films then porous films and for powder production it is used then multi-layered films can also be deposited using this technique and number three in glass industry and solar cell production it is also used okay so this is all about the spray pyrolysis technique which i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book which has given in a brief and a precise manner so i advise you to read it also and include the valuable points and by combining from both the books you make your note accordingly okay thank you